Well, hello everyone. Lock Gardener Bird Lady here. Want to come at you with another pest in my series of um, summer gardening pests. And today I wanted to talk to you about the pickle worm. Yes, I got them. <laughs> so let's just jump right into it. video I will be posting a video of the announcement of who won the giveaway I am sorry I was supposed to announce this I think a week or two ago but with everything that had been going on I kind of just pulled away from um, posting and my phone and everything and um, I will be um, announcing that in another video um, next week um and i just wanted to come i was out here in my garden and i found the evidence of it so i just wanted to come and do this video right fast so i will be doing that video and that announcement um next week um but i wanted to come today because i did find the evidence of the pickle worm and i am smiling but i am very upset but um i kind of prepared for it because i know it was about time now the pickle worm or the scientific name for it is up here or around here somewhere can't pronounce it but um it is uh, i thought that i saw the moth but then i remembered that um the moth is actually nocturnal so it's very very hard to know when you have the pickle worm and if you're from the north you really you probably don't deal with the pickle worm if you're from the north the pickle worm is usually in the southern or the southeastern areas the tropical areas um really hot areas um so the pickle worm it is a nocturnal moth so you really don't know you have the pickle worm until you actually see it now i'm going to show you the evidence of how i knew i had pickle worms so i'm going to show you some evidence all right so i came out this morning and i saw this hole and i saw this frass and i knew i had a pickle worm and i have frass also on this leaf here and that just lets me know that I have a pickle worm all right so that's more evidence of the pickle worms like the pickle worm jelly right there and that's how you can tell you have a pickle worm you can't necessarily see the hole but you can see the jelly or the flask fr the frass there so that's how you know you have a pickle worm so here is a lemon cuke flower and it's been completely eaten out and you see yellow frass and green frass on the leaf and that flower has completely been hollowed out. So that's another way that you can tell you have a pickle worm. So when you start to see the droppings or the frass on the leaves of your cucumbers, you know you have a pickle worm and it's time to go into defense mode. So my so my infestation hasn't gotten bad yet. It's still under control because I harvested all these cucumbers just now and I only found seven that have the um, pickle worm. So it hasn't gotten bad because usually when an infestation, uh, infestation is really bad every single cucumber has several holes in them and every flower has it and you see the worms crawling all over i have yet to see a worm yet outside of a cucumber or a flower um i saw one that had um chewed inside of a flower but i haven't seen the worm um so and i was able to harvest all of this and i only found seven with um the hole in it all right so um that's how you can tell whether or not you have a pickle worm and my infestation right now isn't as bad because usually when my infestation is really really bad i can see the worms all over the stems i can see them all in the flowers but right now they're just solely focused on the fruit and so I'm just really, really, it's, as you can see, it's really, really dark right now because it's supposed to rain the next couple of days. And I hate that it's supposed to rain because that means I cannot spray my BT. It's going to be pointless to spray my BT. So 
Uh, so hopefully it's just gonna rain these two days and then I can really really kind of jump on it the next couple days because what is so diabolical about the pickle worm is the pickle worm just does not stay on your cucumbers. The pickle worm will go after your squash, your melon, pickle worms love I mean spaghetti squash not only do I have to fight my squash vine boards is I have to deal with the pickle worms on my squash as well. So um, just gonna give you some things that you can do to uh, combat the the um, pickle worm and the moth. One thing that you can do is of course spray BT. Now you know I'm a big fan of BT. BT um, Brasilis Theragenesis. It is a um, organic spray that you can spray, and it does kill um, worms and ca uh, worms and caterpillars. Um, it does not hurt your honeybees, your bees. It does not hurt your ladybugs. It only hurts your caterpillars and your worms. And um, it does not actually even hurt your your earthworms in the ground. So that's what makes it so wonderful about BT. And so, of course, you can use that. And um, if you want to know more about BT, I will put a link to my video and other sources in the description box on um, BT. I just don't want this video to be too, too long. And another thing that you can use that I absolutely love is Spinosad. I love Spinosad. I don't use it as much as BT um, because Spinosad, it can harm bees. If you were to spray it in the morning time and bees were in the flower was wet and bees were to it were to get on the bees it can harm bees so the best thing to do is to spray it in the evening or at night been said it is used for the leaf eating um, insects so um, leaf munching a uh, leaf eating type insects so it will get a little bit more than um, your um your caterpillars or your worms it'll also get you know um like flea beetles or leaf miners things of that sort as well so it does a little bit more than what the bt does but it also will like i said it also will affect bees if um uh, a flower is wet and um it gets on the bees so of course spread in the evening because it does break down in the sun um so spread in the evening and plus it does last a little bit longer than bt lasts um so spinosad and it is organic as well and i will put pictures of the ones that i use as well um because i just do not want to go and unlock the shed and get all my stuff out right now <laughs> um so that is one thing that you can do um another thing that you can do number three would be you can cover your um cucumbers and the first time that the first time i heard of covering your cucumbers um, I was like, okay, the bees have to get to the flowers so they wouldn't be able to pollinate them. But the moth that that the moth that lays the eggs on the cucumbers or on your plants, you can cover your plants. It is a nocturnal moth, so you can cover them at night so the moth won't be able to get to them, and you can uncover them in the daytime. Uh, things like squash. I know my squash open up really, really early, and by the time I get out in the garden in the morning, the bees are already active. But as soon as you get up in the morning, uncover them in the morning so you can actually do them. So you can actually cover them where the um, moth would not cover them in the evening when your bees are not active anymore. Um, where the moth cannot get to them to lay its eggs at night. And you can uncover them um, in the daytime. Um, one place that did a um, research and said that the moth's wingspan is like um, an inch long. And so you can put netting on your um plants that is about a uh, three-fourths inch um with holes in it three-fourths inch wide and the holes are too small for the moths to get into but the holes are wide enough for the bees to get into so you can keep the bird netting over your um your squash you can keep the bird netting over your um, your cucumbers and your melons and your bees can still get into it but because the wasp wingspan the um, moss wingspan are an inch long it makes it difficult and it deters them from going to your cucumbers so really not that works I don't know um, seems to me like they can still drop eggs on it but that is a, and if you want to try it let me know or if you have tried it um, 
comment in the um, description box and let me know if it works but uh, I will put the link to that source that that um that tried it and said it worked so I will put that link there but personally I haven't tried it and um or you can do like me you can prepare for it and you can have another round of um, cucumbers coming up um, so I think that is those are the top four ways that um, I found or I researched that you can combat them and it's just you know fight 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 be in fight mode be in fight mode be in fight mode and um, they can get so bad if you cannot control them on your cucumbers if you find out that you can't control them on your cucumbers you have to pull them out because they can infest your entire garden you have to pull your cucumbers out because they will infest everything and the reason that i did not pull the cucumbers out that i have i'm going to destroy the ones that they have infested because i don't want them to mature I don't want them to have um, to mature and be able to lay eggs so I'm gonna pull those out and I'm gonna show y'all what the cucumbers actually look like what the worms actually look like all right so these are the seven that I found with pickle worms in them and each one of them only has one hole in them so not multiple holes let me make sure Oh yeah, it's not a hole. Just one worm. So what you don't want is you don't want to allow these worms to mature. You want to go ahead, when you see them in your cucumbers, you want to go ahead and get rid of them. Because allow, allowing these worms to mature, the, all the worms are are the larvae to the moth, the pickle worm moth. And allowing them to mature means allowing more moths and that moth is going to lay more worms and that worm is going to become a moth and that moth is going to lay more worms and then there goes your infestation right there that's how it gets out of control so what you want to do is i'm just going to try to show you what it looks like without actually killing the worm at first There you go. There he is. That is the pickle worm. That's the pickle worm. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope this video made sense. I hope it helps someone out there. But really, I hope you guys don't have to experience the dreaded um, pickle worm. And um, if you have any more tips, just leave in the comment section. If you have any other pests that you want to know about, or um, any more tips that you want to share, just leave in the comment section. And as I find them in my garden, as I think of them, I will share my tips with you guys of how I'm controlling them or how I'm failing to control them. Thank you so much guys for watching and as usual, toodaloo, bye bye.